Well, thank you. I like your outfit. Thank you. It's unique, and uh, this necklace is unique. Did Thanks you make made, it? No, it's made of rubber. Yeah. No kidding. It's yeah. great. It's Thanks. awesome. Thank you. Uh, please introduce yourself, your movie, and your role in the movie. Okay. My name is Janet Jarman, and I am the director and the cinematographer and the producer of Birth Wars. And what is Birth Wars about? Birth Wars is uh, a feature documentary about the crisis in healthcare, the crisis um, that's facing women, not just in Mexico where it was filmed, where I live, but also around the world. The crisis of oversaturation in hospitals, over medicalization during birth that is leading to a large degree of obstetric violence and faced by women. So, obstetric violence, psychological or phys physical um, damage that stays stays with you. It's a, it's a call for action to bring humanity back to medicine and to show that there's another way. Wow, that's terrific. Is this yeah. done in the Spanish language? It is in Spanish language and it's also done in some pueblos originarios in the state of Chiapas, so Celtal, but it's mostly, it's predominantly Spanish with um, English subtitles. Good for you. My word, yeah. that must have been a little tough to film. It was. It took me about three years. I'm very familiar with the topic. I had started working on it um, maybe seven years ago and I've spent a lot of time working in Chiapas and the access was unique and, and very challenging um, to get the access and keep it. Lots of trust and trust with the hospitals who let me in the, the ORs. Oh, that's it's right just, because you're exposing them. Yeah, mm. I wanted to show a, a contrast and I, I met and it's also told through the eyes of people working in the trenches of healthcare, who many of them, Wonderful. midwives and, and doctors, who really want to change things. But they, they really do. But why are uh, they hamstrung? A lot of people do. Um, with midwives, it's uh, midwives have been attending births for for centuries, ages, yeah, yes. centuries, and. I think that the, the way medicine is conducted now, or hospital systems, um, it requires a huge change in the paradigm, a shift in the paradigm of hospital systems. And it's, it's a system of power with very ingrained beliefs, and so it will, it will take a long time. But more and more, as doctors can, can see midwives at work, both traditional midwives and uh, a new group of professionalized midwives who are coming out of schools in Mexico, the more they can experience and see the incredible talent and dedication and you know, credentials that they have, I think it w they will be allowed more into the system or in invited into the system. And Are they, they can all make women or do we have a few men, male few men. midwives? Yeah, I've seen some Good. parteros, I've seen some men. That's what they're so, called? Yeah, yeah, parteras and parteros. So I've, I've seen many different models and I've, I've seen the difference that mid mid midwives can make in the public, it's a public health system, they can really serve as, as links between the women and the doctors and encourage if, if women in certain communities are afraid to go to the hospital, which is often the case, they can be a bridge in those remote communities to bring women to the hospitals when there are emergencies. Or they so, can't afford it. Um, exactly. So you're, you're also dealing with a Catholic country and there's a religious component here. So there is. do you address that in the film as well in terms of some of these spiritual beliefs? Um, you, my, my theory, I, I've been a photojournalist first for, for 20 years, and wow. I, moved, I moved into film. Um, this is my first feature documentary, and I, I love cinema because you can really tell a, much, a, a very, very deep story, and that is one of the themes that, that I do show. Good. I show the different religions and different belief systems because, I mean, that is the philosophy behind uh, midwifery. One of the philosophies is that a woman has the right to to choose how and where she gives birth and according to the cultural, her cultural and religious beliefs. And that's Good often not you. the case when you rush yeah. into a hospital, which often in, it often turns into a, a situation that seems like a factory, where women are treated like numbers and statistics and babies are treated as products. And I have met a, pe a lot of people who would like to change that, but, it, it, but there has to be substantial political will and the in, in the case of Mexico, it has to come from the federal government and budgets need to be available to hire these really dedicated midwives who can take a lot of pressure off the doctors. 85% of births can happen statistically without intervention. So midwives, well-trained midwives can take those that pressure off and attend those births and if they're prolonged, that's fine. And the doctors can be left to deal with emergencies. 85% it's that high? 
Any, it's it, in the WHO statistics and medical journals. It's um, it's it's said that 85% of births can usually occur without intervention. So that would leave 15% for emergencies or cesareans. But in Mexico, the cesarean rate is almost 50%, the wow. fourth highest in the world. So, wow. And women, it, the basic idea is to give women the choice again and allow them to make decisions. And I think that's a movement we're seeing all over the world. Dignity, respect, and give the decisions back to women. I have a million other questions, but the handler wants you to go. Yeah. Um, tell us when your movie's showing again and where. The movie's showing, it showed today at 11, and it's showing tomorrow at the Metro at 2 o'clock. And I'd love to see you there. Excellent. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you stopping. so much. My pleasure. Okay.